Tonight, the TSA says it will no longer enforce mask use for travelers. It comes after a federal judge in Florida struck down the nationwide mask mandate for airplanes and other public transportation. Local Sen's Sanella Sabovic is live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with all the reaction. Sanella. Well, Nicole and Calvin, this has been an airport staple, an accessory. You couldn't board a plane without it. That has all changed today. The mask mandate has been lifted. Masks are no longer required on uh, U.S. domestic flights. For nearly two years, masks have been like boarding passes. You couldn't travel without one. Tonight, the mask mandate is no more. Please feel free to keep wearing them if you would like to, uh, but this goes for both employees and passengers. It is now an option. I think it came out pretty early on that masks aren't super effective, so, so yeah, I mean, I think everyone's over it, but, you know, do what you can to protect people at the same time. The White House responding after a federal judge out of Tampa struck down the national mask mandate covering airlines and other public transportation Monday. Now announcing TSA will no longer enforce the masks. This is obviously a disappointing decision. U.S. District Judge Catherine Kimball Mazel said the CDC failed to justify its decision to extend the mandate and did not follow proper rulemaking procedures. The mask mandate was supposed to expire today until the CDC extended it for a fifth time until May 3rd due to a small increase in COVID-19 cases in recent weeks. Major air carriers have already changed their policies. United tweeting, masks are no longer required on domestic flights, select international flights or at U.S. airports. Delta, Southwest, Alaska, American Airlines and JetBlue have all followed suit, eliminating their mask policies. Guests and employees will still have the option of wearing their masks if they feel more comfortable. It is safe for me and for other people. I have to protect myself and protect other people. Now the CDC continues to strongly recommend for travelers to wear their masks on trains, buses and on airplanes. Meantime, keep in mind this has been developing all day and into the evening, so it might take some time for airports to roll back their mask requirements. They're asking for patience here as this all changes. That is the latest here out of Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News. Oh.